Hi there. Welcome to this podcast looking at science and technology in surgery. Okay, first off, we know the three big factors that develop surgery. The fight against pain, the fight against infection, and the fight to stop blood loss. But we can see two overarching factors, science and technology, and war. This podcast will look at science and technology. And as you can see here, we've got some examples of how science and technology have impacted on surgery. We can see Pasteur's germ theory. This helped develop the fight against infection. It was Pasteur's work that prompted Lister to develop the use of carbolic acid in surgery and develop antiseptic surgery. So this had a really, really big impact. We see here Pasteur examining uh, using scientific method to examine germs and the spread of disease. We also see the work here of Karl Landsteiner, who developed or used his science to develop the blood groups uh, concept that blood actually you couldn't do simple direct human transfusions without first understanding the different blood groups at work. We also see science at work by applying by applying chemicals to store blood, so, such as sodium citrate. We can also see here scientific reasoning, the need to experiment. Simpson and his fellows uh, sniffing chemicals and, develop, and discovering chloroform as a useful anaesthetic. So science has had a very, very big impact over the three major aspects of surgery. If we move on, we can see how technology has also impacted on surgery. When Simpson discovered chloroform, the number of deaths from its use actually increased. And this was because certainly the fit and fearful were inhaling too much of the chloroform in one go and stopping the heart. So John Snow examining patient records discovered this and created an inhaler, thus improving the regular dosage of chloroform as an anaesthetic. We also see here x-rays developed by Wilhelm Rottingen. Now Rottingen didn't actually apply a patent to his uh, discoveries so they were widely spread and certainly um, further advanced by the use of war, which we'll come on to later. Finally, we can see another example of technology with the hypodermic needle. This, as you can see with the measurements along the side, improved the accuracy of the dosage of drugs being given and also the extraction of blood. Now, if we imagine a question such as this, science and technology was the most important factor in the development of surgery, how far do you agree with this statement? This is something that could come up as a question five, if it's also applied to a number of sources. And the simple yes argument is, if we have a look at science, the impact of Pasteur and the germ theory, Simpson and chloroform, we see how science has made, has made a major impact on that. And we would detail that in more, we'd apply more detail to that and explain why it's important. And the same for technology. However, there is a counter argument Science on its own wouldn't have advanced uh, surgery. Communication, the spread of ideas, was actually increasingly important, otherwise the impact is quite limited. Likewise, war provided huge advances in the use of x-rays. And industry developed the use of carbolic acid with the ideas of, you know, a spray. Um, without these things, the discoveries in themselves would have been made fairly limited and, and very infantile in, in its development. Okay, well, this has been a short podcast. I hope it's been useful. Remember, you can follow and get access to resources at twitter.com forward slash Britain History. Or you can access the website at relentlesshistory.wordpress.com. Good luck in your exams. I hope all goes well.